Hey, what up, guys? Uh, so, uh, today I was uh, reading in, uh, I think it was Zephaniah, um, uh, and it was, um, I think, yeah, I think it was Zephaniah, and I was talking about, you know, how God was um, saying that he was uh, going to pour out, you know, his anger and his wrath on all the rebellious nations and stuff at that time. Um, <clears throat> you know, it just got me thinking, like, um, it's, it's just, like, really similar, uh, to what's going on in America right now, um, you know, it seems like, uh, America has, you know, turned their back on God, um, you know, you have people that, um, this flat out reject that there's even a God, um, let alone that, you know, Jesus Christ was the Son of God, um, is the Son of God, um, then, you know, you have people that have just, like, a weird version, or a skewed, um, thought, or, a theory of who God is, you know, something that's just like, no, man, that's not who God is. Um, or they believe in some kind of God, but not the God that, you know, the Bible speaks of. Um, and then, you know, you got the secular humanists who believe, you know, you have your atheists, um, secular humanists that, you know, believe that, you know, they can accomplish all things through their own means. And, uh, you also have some people that think, you know, um, that we ourselves as our God, you know, like, what? <laughs> uh, so, and, you know, the wickedness of, of, that we do, um, that, um, America has done, uh, and stuff that we're involved in, you know, like abortions and, um, uh, gay homosexual marriages, um, uh, idol worship, just turning our backs on God and, and in doing that, our wicked ways and, you know, things like that. Uh, it, I mean, God brings judgment uh, to nations that turn their back on God. Uh, so, I just, you know, I was reading that and there was just like so many similarities between what was going on then and then what's going on in America. Um, you know, and the only way we can really, you know, get back to being a prosperous nation and, you know, no problems and, and things like that is, is turning back to God. Um, and that we have to turn back to God as a nation and then individually, you know, uh, peoples here in the, in uh, the United States in America, you know, we need to turn back to God. Uh, our churches, you, you know, need to start stop preaching just these, you know, false gospels, you know, that there's a lot of different ways to heaven, and you don't have to go through the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't have to believe in Him, like, that's nonsense, you do. Um, so, as a nation, as a whole, we need to turn back to God, individually, we need to turn back to God, um, because there's just, you know, so many people that, like I said, <laughs> they deny that there's even a God, they think that they're gods themselves, or they have, like, some kind of made-up God in their mind, um, you know, there's only one God, you know, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, in the Bible, uh, you know, because of him, we have all things, you know, he created everything, he gives us things, you know, he is God Almighty, <clears throat> so, you know, we just, we should be praising Him and giving Him thanks for everything that He has blessed us with in America. Uh, but at the same time, um, we need to turn back to Him. And uh, we need to stop sinning against Him and, and doing things that, you know, displeases Him. Because that brings judgment when we turn our backs on Him and forget about Him. Um, so... You know, that's just a little message I wanted to share with y'all. Um, 
Also, you know, Comet Ison still on the way. Uh, it doesn't have a charge anymore, so you can't see it. It's just a bunch of rocks floating through or uh, soaring through the space. Um, so basically, you know, we won't even really see it unless it enters our atmosphere, and you know, the atmosphere will burn it up and make it real bright. So we we don't even know <laughs> if it's coming towards us or not. Um, I recommend going to BP Earthwatch's YouTube channel. Um, he talks a lot about it. He's really good. Um, also, Pastor Paul Begley, uh, he talks a lot about it. And uh, BP Earthwatch uh, goes on his live show and, and talks a lot about it and explains it and stuff in layman's terms. Uh, both of those are really good channels I, I follow <coughs> and I watch. Um, so we just, you know, we need to turn back to God so, you know, he... He won't pour out his wrath, his anger on us. Um, we just need to turn back to him. I mean, his way is better anyways, you know. Uh, turning to him and, and following him will bring us more joy and more happiness than our own ways will um, in the long run. A lot of people don't like to think that or see that. Um, or it's like hard for them to comprehend or whatever. But, you know, following him and doing what he he says brings more joy and more happiness to the heart um it's it's just that's how it is it's you know give it a shot you know it, it's <clears throat> it's true it's for real uh so you know guys just um keep reading the word keep drawing close to god um put your faith in the lord jesus christ only not in your own ways um or any other way, uh, and uh, keep looking out for uh, you know things that are going on in the world. You know, keep an eye on this Ison. Uh, a lot of people think that it's just dead; it's not going to do anything, and it may not. It's not dead; it's still flying through the air. It's just not bright because it doesn't have a charge anymore. Um, you know, it it really could cause Revelation eight. You know, and honestly, it really could. Um, uh, but ultimately, you know, that's up to God if he wants to do that or not. Um, so we really need to repent and, uh, turn back to him. Uh, so anyways, guys, yeah, just, uh, you know, hope that blessed you guys, uh, helped you out a little bit. Um, God bless you. Um. There's a huge snowstorm that came through here a little while ago, so if you're around the Oklahoma area or anything, be safe driving. Um, but anyways, guys, I'll let you go. Have a good day. God bless.